Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Freeland here. Today we're going to talk about the beginning of your story. Now the very beginning of the story, you really want a good beginning that catches your reader's attention and gets them curious about what you're going to write. And you really want to think about the main thing of your story, uh, the main focus. So sometimes when we start a story about ourselves, we start like, hi, my name is such and such. I'm going to tell you about the time this happened. And that's not a very interesting way to start a story because that's like when you're introducing yourself and we don't want to focus on meeting someone. We really want to have the reader think about what we're going to tell them, what our story is going to be about. So um, let's look at a couple stories and we're just going to listen to the first page and we're going to see how the author starts their story. Here's one called Roller Coaster. So let's listen to the beginning of this story. Roller Coaster, written by Marla Frizee. All of these people are waiting in line for the roller coaster. Most of them have ridden on lots of roller coasters. Some of them have only ridden on a roller coaster once or twice. At least one of them has never ridden on a roller coaster before, ever. The roller coaster is very big and very noisy. Okay, so boys and girls, they started that with all the people waiting in line. And then she tells you about one person that has never ridden before. And I'm thinking that's the person in the story, right? So they didn't say, hi, my name is at the beginning of the story. They started out in the line and thinking about how she might feel waiting in line with all those people. Here's another story called Those Shoes. Let's see how this story starts. I have dreams about those shoes. Black high tops, two white stripes. Grandma, I want them. There's no room for wants around here, just need, Grandma says. And what you need are new boots for winter. Brandon T comes to school in those shoes. He says he's the fastest runner now, not me. I was always the fastest before those shoes came along. All right, boys and girls. So at the very beginning on this very first page, the boy is describing those shoes, right? So we know that it's going to be all about those shoes. So it's not saying, hi, my name is right at the beginning. So I'm going to go back to my story and I'm going to look at the beginning of it. And I'm going to describe what the morning was like. I did say one Easter morning, but I'm going to add a few descriptions to what it was like outside so that the reader can imagine it. I'm going to say one beautiful, sunny spring, Easter morning, long ago, we were getting ready to go to church. So now you know that it's beautiful outside and it's spring. And that's when my daughter was outside playing with sidewalk chalk. So I bet that's why she wanted to explore, right? So now I'm creating a picture in my mind and the reader's mind of what it looked like outside. So boys and girls, I want you to try that for your beginning. I really want you to go back to the beginning of the story. Imagine what it looked like or imagine an, something in your story that you could describe at the very beginning. Like in those shoes, he described the shoes. Like in the roller coaster, she described the line that they were waiting in. And I described what the weather was outside. 